witchies. <laughs> Happy Halloween from Teacher Brett. It is Halloween this week and the children in China are usually very excited about Halloween because it's a Western holiday um, the last few years that they seem to participate in more and more. So at um, Go Go Kid they have uh, asked us to participate as well. Join in. The kids love to see us in costumes, so I am going to be a pirate this year. But I thought, what better time to talk about wigs? <laughs> so I get lots of questions and people asking about the different wigs that I use. So sometimes um, the wigs are great. Other times I have had some total wig fails. So today we are going to take a look at several of the wigs that I have so you can kind of see what it's all about. Today uh, under here I just have a regular black wig. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> so this one's a plain black one. And da -da 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 -da, you can see. The nice thing about wigs in the classroom is that um, if I were to wear a wig outside in the real world, um, I would do a lot of prep <laughs> for my hair underneath. So you're, the whole idea is do you want to try and get your natural hair as close, as flat to your head as possible um, so that it doesn't, there's no big bumps or anything like that when you're wearing um, a wig. So um, a lot of times people will put like a wig cap on, um, all that kind of stuff. In the classroom, the excellent thing about online ESL teaching and wigs is that you're normally going to have your headphones and they will generally cover any kind of big bumps like I have a huge bump in the back here because I have my ponytail. Um, <laughs> the headphones will generally cover all that. So it's really easy to kind of roll out of bed and throw one on. I do not wear a wig every day in class. So people ask me that all the time too. Do I, do I wear wigs in the classroom? I do sometimes, but I do not all the time um, wear wigs in the class. And I have to plug in my computer because it's about to die. So it really depends on what I am feeling like that day, whether I'm going to put a wig on in class. I do have some nearby that I can throw on, but they can be kind of hot. They can be kind of itchy, depending on the quality of wigs. Most of my wigs are from Amazon. Um, I type in cheap wigs and most of them are under 20 bucks. Um, so they're not high quality wigs, so they can get itchy and hot um, in the classroom, especially if you've got a lot of classes. Um, but if I'm looking a particular mess, I am not a makeup person. This is about the most makeup you will ever see me wear. Um, and I don't know how to put on makeup. I'm just awful at makeup. Um, so sometimes I can look pretty rough first thing in the morning, four o'clock AM when you're doing classes. A wig hides a lot of that because it brings your attention to your hair. So if I'm looking particularly rough, I will throw on a wig. I will throw on my headphones for the students. I have some wigs that are, you know, just normal wigs. This one's pretty normal, um, especially if a kid doesn't know me, they don't necessarily know that it's a wig. And then I also have a lot of fun wigs. So I don't generally wear the bright <laughs> colored fun wigs um, in the classroom unless it's a student that I know. Take off my pirate earring here. Um, if it's a fun student, I know I might throw on a wig every once in a while, um, but I don't want to, uh, professionalism is really important to parents in China, um, so I generally don't like that to be my first impression. Um, some people do it and it's not a problem, so I mean, it, that's perfectly fine, um, but I generally try and <laughs> save the really crazy wigs for kids that I know. So let's see, um, we were going to kind of go through some of our wigs. Um, so I'm gonna kind of have to keep editing this video so you're not seeing me change them all out. But first one, one of the first wigs I got, really normal wig for the classroom, black, pretty easy. Let's check out the next one. Do, 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 do. Next wig. This is actually probably my favorite normal wig. I have worn this one out a lot, actually. Um, and I usually get compliments on my hair. Um, and then I ask people, do you know it's a wig? And they're like, no, I didn't know. Um, <laughs> but this is my favorite one. Um, it's just another normal wig, looks normal, nothing fancy. So again, really easy to quickly throw on in the classroom before class and put on my headphones and students have no. Wig number two. All right. Wig number three. This wig is my red one. I actually have this wig in several different colors because I liked it so much. Um, fun colored wig. 
looks like I spent time doing my hair when I did it. Um, but this is another one of my favorite wigs. This one is red, and we will show you the next color. And we have it in green. And we have it in this whitish bluish green color as well. <laughs> and then I have the short red curly one, which is fun. And again, with the headphones, this one I like with the headphones because it kind of makes it not so crazy. It makes it really easy. And now we have some wig fails that will be coming. So hold on. Wig fail. <laughs> wig fail number one. I don't know. This just looks like I like chopped off all of my hair in some psychotic rage. <laughs> And ended up with this monstrosity. Like headphones can't even no. Like headphones don't even save this. I don't know. I'm just not. It's not. I'm not feeling it. It's not feeling me. Wig fail number one. <laughs> Guys, I had such high hopes for this wig, um, based on the picture. <laughs> I don't even know. I I don't know what this is, but. Um, it's a lot of hair, a lot of hair, just choo -choo -choo. this was supposed to be like my princess wig, but I just feel like I am some Southern woman in the Piggly Wiggly <laughs> going to pick up some food because it's some big hair, big hair. So I don't, I don't think I've ever worn this one. Maybe one day I'll wear it in a video <laughs> for you guys. Ah, quick fail. All right, guys, final <laughs> wig fail for you all. This one was just not. <laughs> I feel like I look like a drag queen. My face is too manly for this tiny, tiny pink wig. Let's see. Can we even help it with the. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe the headphones don't make it look as bad. The other um, way to a uh, lot of times salvage a wig is to put a hat on. I lost all my hats. Oh, we could just go with sandals. <laughs> Let's see, we must help it all. Maybe I can wear this hat at, um... oh, there we go. Maybe I can wear this hat at Christmas time in the classroom. Oh Lord, y'all, help me. So who's gonna get some wigs? They are fun and they're a little bit addictive. So once you get one, you get more and you <laughs> get more and you get more and they never seem to be enough. I don't know. <laughs> so those are my wigs that I have so far. I'm sure I have more around here somewhere, but in the process of moving things around. So those are the wigs that I have at the moment. I hope you enjoyed my um, wig collection for this lovely Halloween. Let me know what you are being in the classroom. Are you dressing up? I am either going to be the pirate. I also have this cat, cat costume. Maybe, oh, this might work with my pink wig. Oh, actually, I might be able to do this in the classroom. I might be this cat. Look, I have little paws. Maybe I'll be the cat. Meow. Meow. For Halloween. <laughs> all right, guys. Goodbye. Happy Halloween and happy teaching. I hope I see you all in the classroom really soon. Bye. Make sure that you subscribe and like. Bye, guys.